For centuries, the origins of the Slavic people remain shrouded in mystery. Thanks to modern genetics, we can now trace the ancestral footsteps of the Slavs, one of the largest ethno-linguistic groups in Europe. Join us as we embark on a captivating journey through time, uncovering the genetic tapestry of the Slavs, a story that might just rewrite everything you thought you knew. To truly grasp the origins of the Slavs we must journey back in time, more than 5,000 years ago, to the vast expanse of the Eurasian steppe. Here, a nomadic people known as the Yamnaya traversed the Pontic Caspian region, leaving an indelible mark on the genetic landscape of Europe. Genetic studies reveal a profound connection between the Slavs and these ancient steppe nomads. This link is most evident in the prevalence of the R1AY DNA haplogroup within Slavic populations. This genetic marker acts like a beacon illuminating the shared ancestry between modern Slavs and the Yamnaya people. This genetic connection to the Yamnaya is a cornerstone in understanding the broader Indo-European language family to which Slavic languages belong. As the Bronze Age dawned, a new cultural force emerged in Europe, forever altering the genetic trajectory of the Slavs. This was the corded ware culture, so named for their distinctive pottery decorated with cord-like impressions. These people were a fusion of indigenous Neolithic farmers and the descendants of those nomadic Yamnaya pastoralists who had migrated westward. Genetically, the corded ware people represent a pivotal chapter in the story of the Slavs. They were the product of assimilation, their genetic makeup reflecting a fusion of ancient European ancestry and the indelible mark of the steppe. The corded ware culture's impact extended beyond genetics. It influenced burial practices, pottery styles, and even potentially, the early spread of Indo-European languages throughout Europe. As we delve deeper into the first millennium BCE, a pivotal chapter unfolds in the story of the Slavs. Between 1200 and 500 BCE, a distinctive group began to emerge in the regions we now know as Poland, Belarus, and Ukraine. These were the Proto-Slavs, the ancestors of today's diverse Slavic nations. Archaeological evidence whispers of their unique cultural practices, burial customs, distinct styles of pottery and metalwork, and their settlement patterns all point towards a burgeoning cultural identity. Genetically, the Proto-Slavs carried within them the genetic legacy of the steppe nomads and the corded ware people, but something new was emerging. This was the case with the Proto-Slavs, their genetic makeup while rooted in the past was evolving, becoming distinct, setting the stage for the emergence of a new and vibrant branch on the Indo-European family tree. The story of the Slavs is one of remarkable resilience and expansion. As the Western Roman Empire crumbled in the 5th century CE, a power vacuum emerged, and into this void swept the Slavs in a period known as the Great Slavic Migration. Imagine a wave of humanity, driven by a complex interplay of factors, pressure from other migrating groups, the search for new lands and opportunities. Genetic evidence reveals a story of assimilation and integration. As the Slavs migrated, they encountered and interacted with a mosaic of other populations, Germanic tribes, remnants of the Roman world, and various indigenous groups. The genetic diversity we see within Slavic populations today speaks to this era of mingling. It underscores that the Slavic identity wasn't forged in isolation but through centuries of interaction and exchange with a kaleidoscope of other cultures. As the Slavic world took shape it continued to be shaped by encounters with other powerful groups, leaving indelible marks both cultural and genetic. In Eastern Europe the Slavs encountered the Varangians, Norse Vikings who ventured down the rivers of modern-day Russia and Ukraine. These weren't just marauding raiders. The Varangians played a pivotal role in the establishment of the powerful state of Kievan Rus. Genetic studies confirm this historical narrative. We find a subtle but undeniable presence of Scandinavian genetic markers within these populations. Centuries later, another wave of influence, this time from the east, swept over the Slavic world, the Mongol Empire. While the Mongol genetic impact is less pronounced than that of earlier migrations, it's still detectable, particularly in populations within Russia. The story of the Slavs is not one of a single homogenous group, but a tale of incredible diversity, shaped by geography, migration, and cultural exchange. This diversity is beautifully illustrated when we compare the genetic makeup of different Slavic groups. Consider the South Slavs, 
those who ventured south into the Balkan Peninsula, a region already brimming with the legacies of ancient Greece, the Roman Empire and various other groups. The ancestors of the Serbs, Croats, Bulgarians and others intermingled with these existing populations, creating a genetic tapestry woven from both Slavic threads and the rich heritage of southeastern Europe. In contrast, the Western Slavs, including the Poles, Czechs, and Slovaks, exhibit closer genetic ties to their Western neighbors, Germanic and Baltic populations. Their genetic makeup reflects centuries of interaction along these cultural borders. This fascinating spectrum of genetic variation underscores a crucial point. Slavic identity is not a monolith. The genetic heritage of the Slavs is not just a historical curiosity, it's a story etched in their very biology, influencing their physical traits and even their ability to thrive in diverse environments. Take for example, lactose tolerance, the ability to digest milk sugar well into adulthood. This trait is particularly prevalent among Slavic populations. Similarly, certain genetic adaptations related to cold weather survival are more common in Slavic populations particularly those who settled in northern latitudes. And of course we can't forget the R1AZ282Y DNA haplogroup, a genetic marker so prevalent among Slavic populations that it's considered one of the most definitive genetic signatures of their shared ancestry. These genetic traits are reflections of the Slavic people's remarkable journey, their adaptation to diverse environments, and their enduring connection to their ancestors. The 20th century with its tumultuous upheavals and ideological divides tested the bonds of many cultures. Yet despite experiencing their share of conflicts and political divisions, the Slavic people have retained a profound sense of shared heritage. Look around the world today and you'll find over 300 million people who identify as Slavic, their cultural expressions as varied as the landscapes they inhabit. From the bustling streets of Moscow to the serene countryside of Bulgaria, from the vibrant cultural hubs of Prague to the ancient cities of Ukraine, Slavic culture thrives in its many forms. Despite the evolution of distinct languages and dialects, the Slavic languages share a common root, a linguistic thread that connects a Russian speaker to a Serbian, a Polish speaker to a Bulgarian. Despite centuries of migration intermingling with other groups and the inevitable genetic variations that arise over time, Modern genetic studies reveal a profound and undeniable connection between Slavic populations across the globe. This shared genetic heritage serves as a powerful reminder that despite their differences, a fundamental unity binds them together. We live in an age of remarkable scientific discovery, and genetics is at the forefront of this revolution. The ability to peer into our very DNA, to unravel the secrets held within our cells, is transforming our understanding of human history, and the story of the Slavs is a prime example of this. For centuries, our understanding of the past relied on fragmented archaeological evidence, often biased historical accounts, and linguistic analysis. Now, with the advent of advanced genetic sequencing and the study of ancient DNA, we're gaining an unprecedented glimpse into the past, one that often challenges long-held assumptions and paints a more nuanced picture of human history. From those ancient Indo-European roots on the steppes to the rise of the corded ware culture, from the Slavic migrations that reshaped the face of Europe to the encounters with Vikings, Mongols and countless other groups, the Slavic genome bears witness to it all. This is the power of genetic research. It allows us to piece together the fragments of the past, to see ourselves as part of a much grander narrative, and to appreciate the incredible interconnectedness of humanity. The story of the Slavic people is no longer confined to the pages of history books. It's a living narrative, etched in their DNA, a testament to the enduring power of human migration, adaptation, and the blending of cultures. If this journey into the genetic heart of the Slavs has sparked your curiosity, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments where your own ancestral journey began.